You're missing out. You're missing out. <laughs> In California. I cannot believe I live there. Why are we lost? There is more. Water. Hey, 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 y'all. I'm out here waiting on Brianna to come and pick me up. We are about to go to a YouTube event. It's a beauty YouTube event for YouTubers. It's so hot out here, y'all. I'm burning up. It is blazing hip hop and R&B outside. <laughs> Louisville, Kentucky, <laughs> you know what I mean when I say that, but it's hot, y'all. It's really hot. And I have on a summer outfit, but I mixed it up a little, a little fall time. Look at this. I wanted to wear these shoes so bad, so I have these shoes on, um, but it's hot outside, so I'm gonna check with y'all when I get in the car with Brianna because baby, it's hot. It is hot. All right, y'all. We got to walk up in here. We just parked. Why am I talking like Ice Cube? <laughs> <laughs> y'all, Brianna. Come on, get her in the light. There we go. There she is. There she go. <laughs> So, do you think that there's an elevator? Can yes, we go down? Cause baby, we was about to try to stomp it down. <laughs> we lost. I think we lost. <laughs> we just got here. How? We are definitely lost. I'm trying to. It's the lower level though, you know? Okay. So. We'll cross. We supposed to? Can we make it in 10 seconds? I don't know. Eight seconds? Nope. You think we should do it? Too late. Too late. Ah! I don't think we should. Well, we going anyway. <laughs> we only got two cars. Sheesh. Out of breath. Excuse me, are we going the right way for the YouTube event? Yeah, you're gonna go all the way down here. Well, um, it's like literally on the left, but you can't take the stairs. So just take the ramp and go all the way down. Okay, thank, thank you, you so much. You too, thank you. Look at this hottie. You guys look epic. Hi. 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 Wait, I wanna vlog too. <laughs> we got the hotties. Look what I ran into. Hi. Hi. And this beauty over here, come, come, come. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, we're about to have so much fun. We are about to have a ball. Yes. So cute. The city is my palace. 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 I think it's wild. 
I think I like the third one. I, I think I like Least Me Be. Which one's this one? This is the first person here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think oh, I'm going not here. Least Me Be. Yeah. What's good? I think it's good. Yeah, right. You're right. You're right. I don't know. Which is the one I smelled the the the. Wait, haven't you seen it? I have no. I have about ninety of them. Which one is about? Yeah, the game over in the corner. Yes, sir. Yes, I should do it. Um, and then if you guys do it, I'll grab it too. I'll do it. We'll definitely do it. Great. By the way, we're doing a quick fire question. I would love to know. So how you doing, sir? I love the top of I love that one. I love this. I'm trying. 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 I'm trying.
Okay. There you go. I need to get you can you hold off on the bag. This is all for you. Need the full oh, she's gonna love. She's gonna love this. She's gonna love. She's okay, this is for moment. you. Okay. Get into it. Get into it. I need my ivory. Okay. She's gonna love it. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is my day. That's my girl. I'm so proud of her. Yes. And I met her online. Really? Yes. I bought the bag and I was like, who made, who is, oh, who's over this? Uh -huh. Yes. Say hi, y'all. Hello. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, so we just take a bag. Right. She's oh. heavy. I, I have to get she oh, heavy. she's heavy. Yeah. Now that was a struggle. The wall, damn, is it over here? Oh, right here. Now, why would these shoes hurt? Why are we lost? All right, y'all. So, back from the event, my freaking camera died, so I did not get to get. Y'all see, my camera died, but I had so much freaking fun. We got all this stuff. I want to show y'all all this stuff that I got. And I couldn't wait. I was going to wait in the morning when I had better lighting. But who cares? I'm excited. I want to show y'all. I'm so happy. This was my first beauty event since COVID. And y'all know I stayed at a beauty event, beauty con, IMAX, all the beauty events. I was at all the beauty events, LA, New York, Atlanta. And this was the first one that I've attended. I've attended since COVID and I feel so complete. I feel like, I feel a little bit, a sense of normalcy again, just a tad bit because that is what like being an influencer is about. Going to these beauty events, networking, meeting the people behind the brands, meeting the PR, um reps meeting other beauty fashion and lifestyle influencers like this is what it's about and i just feel so good that i feel i'm ecstatic i'm happy to be back in person doing what i love meeting the people that i love and that i've been following for years i met so many people that i've been following for years in real life today um, whom I'm friends with, you know, via Instagram and YouTube, but we met each other for the first time today. Just amazing. Makes my heart feel so happy, so good, and yes. So I want to show y'all what I got from this event. I'm going to turn the camera around a little bit and show y'all, and then I'm going to bring it back to me so I can do a little. So today we got this, 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 and this, and y'all. I am going to do an apartment tour, which that's going to be another video. We'll talk about that in another video, but or maybe we'll talk about it in this video. Who knows? Since this is a week long vlog, who knows what we're going to do in this. But um, yeah, I got a cute little sex in the city brick wall. <laughs> um, yeah, so let me show y'all what we got in this goodie bag because it's a lot of stuff. It's a whole lot of stuff. <sighs> Y'all, look at all the stuff we got. Like bags, Fenty Beauty, Tata Harper. Like, we got all this stuff in this piece So, yeah. Let's see what we have here. Let us see, let us see, I'm so excited. Okay, so first things first. Going on this bag, we have some Heritage. So this is Heritage rice water. We got some Heritage curl cream, little curl cream. We have some deep moisture 
Restore conditioner. <laughs> Scrunchies. And they also gave us this. Now, come on. This is my second one, up in the air, volumizing brush. And what's so crazy is that the way that I moved is I flew back and forth to Dallas two or three times, twice actually, and packed all my stuff in a suitcase and stuff that I could take. And then I sold all my furniture and stuff because of course, who wants to take all that stuff? I even sold my car because I'm like, I'm not driving in LA. The driving here is just too crazy. I don't wanna deal with it. Yeah, but anyways, long story short, I had to give away a lot of my stuff. And one of the things that I gave away was my roller brush, my um, heated roller brush, whatever this thing is called. And would you look at that? I got another one. You know, we also, you know, cause we love black girl sunscreen. Y'all know that's my holy girl. That's what I use, what I always use. So we got some black girl sunscreen samples. And then this is really cute. This is Citizen, I wanna say, yeah, Citizen Cosmetics. And they had new, this is the Maldives. And so it's a lip color on one side and then it's a gloss on another side if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so lipstick, one side, gloss on the other side. Cute. And I'm trying to figure out if I should turn this, if I should turn it around or if I should do this. Y'all, they gave us a Jackie Ina candle and this is from her new collection. This is the new Forever Mood scent. And this is in the scent Thirst Trapping. This smells so good. I think the main note, the top notes are watermelon, apple, and pineapple. The heart is raspberry and apricot and the base is cotton candy and vanilla. And I normally do not like fruity or food flavored um, scented candles but this smells so freaking good this smells so good and the packaging like jackie Anna, she knows what she's doing this packaging is too cute super 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 cute so we got a candle which i'm so excited i cannot wait to light this candle you know i'm gonna save it too for when i get my furniture and stuff and I'm all in here situated and stuff. So let's look what we got from Tata Harper. So we get, so a lot of the stuff they were out of this one, I remember. So they put us on the PR list. So I'll be expecting a box from them, but it's skincare. And this is another skincare line, which is Dr. Barbara Stern. And so they said they would give us samples, but these are these are some pretty large samples. So this says the Good C Vitamin C Serum. This is the Better B Niacinamide Serum. And they gave us anti-pollution drops in this cute little bag. Okay, so in this, we got a lot of stuff in here, y'all. Let me just. So this is from Uoma Beauty Rich Tan, and it is like their setting powder. This is skincare. Natrium, natrium. So we have some niacinamide gel cream. We got some, ooh, lip balm. I should've put this on tonight. Vitamin C, Super Plus Serum. I mean, there's so much in here. I'm gonna do like a purple ginseng cleansing balm. 
So I'm really excited to try these products because the man at the booth, he was very informative and he was seriously like asking like, what's your skin type? What are your main concerns about your skin? What do you feel like, you, what areas do you feel like you need help with, um, with your skin? So he was like really giving me products based on my skin care needs. So I really appreciate that and I'm excited to try these products because he said that they was doing their thing. So we got a little something something from Fenty Beauty. And we have the Fat Water Pore Refining Toner Serum. And then we have the Fenty Icon The Feel Semi Matte Lipstick. And this is the MVP. So the woman at the booth said that this is the Holy Grail. So we're going to try the MVP. I trust her. And I got it. So yeah. Y'all. There's more. <laughs> There's more. Where do I even start? I don't even know where to start, y'all. I'm just, just dump it all out. This is seriously reminding me of IMAX. Like, seriously. <sighs> Advanced skincare wand. What is this? Take charge of your skin. This is a skincare wand? What is that? <gasps> Tata Harper. Hydrating floor essence. Essence plump and prep. I, I'm going to be experimenting with my skin. I'm going to have to... Run all this by Sarah May first, though, because y'all know that's not esthetician. Line smoothing device. Like, what? What are they giving us? Line smoothing device. This is oil control on the go. Revlon. Y'all know I love my Revlon. This is. Sakara, eat clean, eat whole. And this, okay, so these, this is edible stuff, dietary stuff. Let's see. Okay, so this is 14 of the most beautifying age defined herbs on the planet. I'm assuming this is tea. 14 potent herbs for ultimate radiance, allow your spirit to transcend time. Yeah, I'm assuming that this, these are tea bags. Um, we also have beauty water, ionic mineral drops, dietary supplement, mixed full drop of beauty water for every. Huh. Okay, so this is beauty water. Something you add to your water. And then we have. The Sakara Beauty Protein Super Bars, Lemon Poppy Seed, Seed Buckthorn, same one. Trying to move fast, y'all, because I got a lot, look, look, look of stuff. Okay, so then we have Fast Dissolving Whitening Strips for your teeth. We have some watermelon glow dietary supplements, stuff that you put in your water. So I'm getting that the theme for this is beauty, fresh, fresh beauty. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, dietary supplements. So this is in bloom. And this is something that you also put in your water. Beach waver. No idea what this is. So let's see. Yeah, I wanted to see what this is. What is a beach waiver? Oh, a curling iron. Wow, how cute. A beach waiver. All right, we got. Oh, this is my stuff. I love this stuff. So I was using this. I used to use this all the time. YP, you to the people. 
So this is their green tea and spinach super food cleanser, y'all. This is my stuff. This had my face feeling so good. I'm excited about this. We love that. We love this. Glossier Future Dude. I, I mean, the, the theme is giving skin. We have Elizabeth Arden. Okay, retinol, ceramide capsules. So dietary, I'm assuming. Oh wait, no. To use smooth serum over cleanse face and neck at night before your moisturizer. Look at this, actually. Elizabeth Arden. Oh, look, y'all. Look at this. Oh, I'm about to be fancy. I'm about to be fancy. I am about to be fancy. La, 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 la. Okay, so we have a Heritage Store Rose Water Jelly Mask. We have Benefit, ooh, Bad Gal, Bad Gal Bang Mascara. Biosign, Squalene Copper Peptide Rapid Plumping Serum. I love Biosign. Love, love, love Biosign. I don't know why I gotta take everything out, but this is just such a clean line. Biosign is such a clean a clean brand, like just clean, you know, clean beauty. We love clean beauty. This is Second Chance Beach Waver, so this goes with my. And this is a dry shampoo. This is a heat protectant spray, also by Beach Waver. We have Lolabi. Glossing Detangler. So yeah, this is for your hair. Glosser, glossing Detangler, cute. We have Smashbox. This is their Revitalized Photo Finish 8-in-1 Primer. Y'all know, back in my makeup days, we love Smashbox, we love Smashbox. We have Amy Cole Light Catching Highlighter. Y'all know I love me a little shine. What we got here? Whoa, now this is beautiful. Look at that beauty. Can y'all see that? Oh, I don't think y'all can see. Oh, it's pretty. <gasps> Love the Dr. Bronner's Peppermint. Little cute little travel. I have the full size in my bathroom currently. This is what I took a shower with tonight. <laughs> we have oh, Chamberlain coffee. We have matcha, which I don't really like matcha, but we're gonna do it. Oh, Opalex hair perfector. Y'all know Opalex, the girls love Opalex. We have belief moisturizing eye balm, which I'm actually gonna put some of this on right now. Moisturizing eye balm, which I need some moisture because you know, 31. We gotta keep it right, keep it tight. <laughs> Smashbox, we have the Prime and Plush lipstick in Bops, which is a red color. A little red color. We have Belief Aqua Balm Makeup Removing Cleansing Balm, little travel size thing. Okay, we have hair mask. This is bread. Cute. Dragon Beauty liquid eyeliner. Another Believe Aqua Balm makeup removing cleansing balm. I think I already read that. We're gonna do it again, act like I didn't. <laughs> we have the Believe True Cream Aqua Balm. What is this? So this is a moisturizer from Belief. And if y'all know about any of these products, let me know some. <gasps> Mac, y'all know I'm a Mac girl. We a Mac girl. We have Bean Time. This is the Dazzle Shadow Liquid Eyeshadow. These are so nice. 
I used to love putting these on with brown scripts in the crease. Why y'all discontinue brown script, Matt? Come back with it. Okay, we have the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. And I have no idea what this is. Oh, Fast Absorbing Body Cream. Have y'all heard of this? I'm sure y'all have. We have Belief Aqua Bomb Hydrating Toner. More Belief. We have Ole Hendrick Cine. Y'all know this is my stuff. This is a strength trainer peptide boost moisturizer. This is another clean beauty brand. Cruelty free. We love Ole Hendrick Cine. We have Kosas Wet Plumping Treatment Gloss. And this is in the shade Jellyfish. I don't know what no wet plumping is, but we about to see. Wet plumping. Did it plump me up? Okay, we have the cereal glitter. <gasps> cereal glitter. I don't have cereal, but it's, I'm gonna get some cereal for this. Opalex Bond Protective Nourishing Hair Serum or Opalex. You know, we love Opalex. This is, oh wow, cute. Glow Play Blush. Very cute in the shade Grand from M -M 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 Mac. More Ole Henderson firmly yours. Tone and dry body work. Hold on, hold up. Cause I'm gonna try a little bit of this. This is body oil. Dry body oil. Huh, so it does not have SPF. It says apply an SPF afterwards. But wow, Ole Hamilton, that must be something new. This is JVN Air Dry Cream Complete for your hair. So this is for your hair. More Yoma Beauty Black Magic. This is High Shine Lipstick. Is it black? Cause the name is Black Magic. Let's see. Oh no, it's like a pretty brown. But look at that. I don't know if you can see what has like sparkles in it. Very nice. We have OS one size. This is Patrick Star's mattifying waterproof setting spray. On till dawn. That's what it's called. I'm gonna show that. Cute. Looks like a little hairspray. Looks like a little hairspray. Oh, my foot is going to sleep. Because we got all this stuff. I'm almost finished, y'all. Almost finished. So we have Fig One. This is the Micellar Oil Cleanser. I like this packaging a lot. I like this back too. Hum Daily Cleanse. This helps clear your skin and body from toxins. Is it vegan? That's what I want to know. Because why haven't I? Why don't I want to take this? Yeah, I guess so, huh? Vegan products. So, hum Daily Cleanse. I might want to take one of these tonight. Leave that over here. This is Rail Beauty Miracle Clear Clarifying Toner. I like Rail Beauty. I've used their uh, mask. They have a good mask. This is Soft Touch Slather Topicals Exfoliating Body Serum. Let me see what this looks like. Exfoliating Body Serum. So we got that. Exfoliating Body Serum. And we have plumping gloss. It just says Patrick Ta, Patrick T.A. 
but I want to see what it looks like. Hi, y'all, cute. Yeah, so it says Patrick TA, and it's just a plumping gloss, and it has a red tint. We'll see what it looks like. I'll try. I'm, a, I'm back into the beauty. I'm back into beauty. Like, now that we're back in this, it's its own. Real Beauty Miracle Cool. Miracle Clear Barrier Cream. Moisturizer. Moisturizer. We have the exfoliating cleanser from Real Beauty. This is the Benefit Shelly. And let's see what this is looking like. How pretty is that? Okay, we already talked about that. Oh, wait, did they give me another one? We got another one? We got two. We got two. We got two of them things. We have Cloud Cushion Airy Brightening Moisturizer. This is from E. Edom. Oh, cute. Packaging is too cute. Look at that. Very cute. And it comes with a little... It comes with this gold spatula, y'all. Look at that. Uh-huh. Okay. This is the Lancome Idol Lash Lifting Volumizing Mascara. Then we have the Rare Beauty Perfect Strokes Mascara Volume Universal in the black. This is Rare Beauty. I think this might be Selena Gomez brand. Not sure. But I think so. I want to see what her packaging looks like. Oh, yeah. Cute. Very simple. Very aesthetic. Aesthetically pleasing. Home. Flatter me. Supports a flatter stomach and healthy digestion. Okay, so we have two. We have the one for the skin and nails, and then we have the one for the flat stomach. We have EOS Evolution of Smooth Shave Cream. So they gave us some shaving cream. Then we have the Kosas Airbrow Fluff Hold Treatment Gel. Okay, y'all, let's see if y'all can get me off my benefits. And last but not least, we have Youth to the People. What is this? Because this is my stuff. What is this, y'all? You are you. What is this? This is the Nia Cinnamide Youth Serum. Smooth Transform. Elevated with Adaptogens Ceramides. Wow, so there's a spray on. It's yellow. A yellow serum. our package and it is from Glossier these are the colors that they have in their new liner so yes I'm gonna do a beauty video and show y'all thing or two good night y'all Good morning. It is Monday. I don't know what the date is, but I'm in my humble abode in California. I cannot believe I live here. I ordered groceries and the groceries just got here. I ordered from somewhere called Barn. I have no idea what that is, but yeah. Y'all, I don't have nothing. I don't have a thing in this place. I don't have any furniture, any um, I don't have anything like literally starting off from scratch. I have a little, I have an air mattress. I don't have anything in this fridge. Look at this little cute little 
So the stove is teensy weensy in this little fridge. I told my mom, I said, I think I'm gonna get a new fridge and a new stove. But she was like, no, it's vintage, keep it. It works, so. Hey, you know, y'all on this journey with me in LA. <laughs> um, I did apply to a few places, but the process to get into these places take forever and this was available to me immediately. And I was like, you know what? I feel like this is a sign and I'm gonna take it. So I did. And then I met this man. I met this man who I talked to for like about two hours and we just talked about like, you know, our culture, um, just a lot of like spiritual stuff about like getting land. Um, paying to live like uh, we just talked about so freaking much and it just like the the dots just started connecting and i'm like that makes so much sense you know you know how when you you kind of keep getting signs because i was staying with my cousin brandy you know i still had my place in dallas but i was like you know what i'm just coming out of la gk was like come out to la um let's do some content and you know, I, I wanted to look at places. So I came and I was looking at places. Of course, I was looking at like all the high-end places because that's what I like. That's what I wanted. That's what I thought I wanted. Um, so I was looking downtown um, and I realized I'm like, I don't really don't want to be downtown after being downtown for, you know, going down there a few. It's just gloomy downtown a little bit, you know, because the buildings are so tall. There's barely any palm trees and I want the LA experience. So if I'm gonna be in LA, I'm gonna be in LA. But my cousin, she lives right in the center of Hollywood. So I was staying with her right in the center of Hollywood and I like to get out and walk. So I just was getting up every day just walking. And when I say I was walking, I was walking like hours, two, three, four hours, just walking around Hollywood, West Hollywood, um, just all over like this area, not downtown. And so I was like, huh, well, let me see if I can find, you know, a nice place over in this area because I really like this area. Everything is right here. Anytime somebody was like, hey, you want to meet and go here? I'll put in the GPS four minutes away, seven minutes away. Like nothing is too far away from this area. And it's central, like 15 minutes from downtown, 15 minutes from um, but like 12 minutes from like West Hollywood, like just a very central location. So I was like, wow, I think I want to be in this area. So I started like looking for like places in this area and I was applying to places in this area. Waiting list, super long to get into these places. And I'm like, what in the world is going on? So, um, you know, I just kept looking, kept looking. And I'm like, okay, playing the waiting game at this point. So I... <laughs> come in the building one day brandy tells me like oh we got a rooftop and i'm like what i didn't know you had a rooftop so i go up to the rooftop and the owner comes up there and he there's like all kind of like plants and stuff so look at me i done started talking let me let me let me get let me get right so he um I see all of these plants and stuff, and I'm like, what is happening up here? So I asked him, I'm like, what is this? He's growing like corn, tomatoes, a squash, like all kind of stuff up on the roof in like bins and containers and stuff like that. I'm gonna take this certified out. In like bins and containers and stuff like that. So I'm so intrigued because y'all know me, y'all know how I am with like just anything nature, farming, holistic health like all that stuff i'm down with it so i'm talking to him and he's just explained to me like how he started growing it and all this stuff so we get into all that and then i was telling him like yeah you know i live in dallas but i'm moving here and i'm trying to find a place and i was telling him i was looking around in this area and he also suggested don't move downtown so i was like okay everybody kept saying don't move downtown don't go downtown don't go downtown so he was like well i have a unit available in this one, just one more because there's only like 12 units in this building. And places like this are, it's, it's just rare to find something like this. The price that I'm paying, the location that I'm in, 
it's just not if you just don't stumble across stuff like this so <clears throat> he shows me and of course i'm like yeah you know no i think y'all need to you know do this 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 and this to the apartment so he's like whatever so then a few weeks go by i see him again tell him i still haven't found a place still looking still waiting to hear back and he was like i still have that unit available so i go look at the apartment again and the things that i told him like he needed to like fix and update he did so i was like you know what i feel like this is a sign from god to just get it like get it this is just get it so i listened to that voice in my head and i told him i want it i want it and what's so crazy is that when brandy moved here okay so initially 2019 like 2018 actually brandy diamond and myself we all had planned like we move in la it's it it's whatever we move in la so brandy was living in new york at the time diamond and i living in louisville and we just knew we were moving so 2020 brandy moves to new york i mean brandy moves to la and you know shaking the world up because it's during covid she just took that leap and was like i'm moving and she stumbled across uh an apartment in this building too like just um just god being like here this is for you go do it so she took up the opportunity too but when she moved here i was like let me know if you have if they have anything else available in your building she was like okay they didn't have anything available at the time so I ended up just moving to Dallas because I'm like, I got to get out of Louisville. I need something new. So I packed up and moved to Dallas. Long story short, here I am in the building right upstairs from my cousin in a studio apartment right in the center of Hollywood in L.A. Like, pew, right where I have, I, I was already staying like with her. So I was, I had like my routine. I was getting up walking. I know the people on the block. I know people like at the places I was going to, like the food places. I know the people that know me. It was just like, I was getting familiar with it. And I think that was all for a reason. Like, it's just crazy. Like when I talk about it, it's just stuff that you cannot make up. And it literally fell in my lap. Everything worked out. I was able to go back and forth to Dallas. I flew to Dallas twice to I literally moved by myself in a suitcase. In suitcases. I took two suitcases and two carry-on bags with me um, to, well, no, I had, I had two suitcases here already. So I took two suitcases with me to Dallas, packed them up with all the stuff that I could take with me. Um, and then I just packed up everything that, because I hadn't even packed up. I didn't even know, like, <clears throat> I didn't know that that I was and I was really gonna be moving here like that so you know I didn't think it was all gonna play out I was thinking like more so like August September ish but it happened quick and it was for a reason because since I've been here baby <laughs> it's just crazy but anyways how did I get into that long story how did I get into that long story from telling y'all that. I don't even know how I got into it. But anyways, it was for a reason for me to tell y'all that. But I'm telling y'all that because I'm just grateful, you know. Things might not always play out how you think they're supposed to play out. They play out exactly how they're supposed to play out. And you can't miss an opportunity that's for you. But you can't slow down the process when you don't listen to that voice in your head. You know, saying like, all right go let's get it it's time let's go like i'm gonna hand this i'm giving it to you it's up to you to take it you know you have a choice you can say yes you can say no you can go left you can go right it's up to you you know and i've been just listening to the voice in my head because i normally don't i'm the type of person that i hear something and i'm like oh don't wait for me you know that y'all know that meme where it's like god is sending you a sign and then it'll be like a sign walking past <laughs> you can say somebody driving past with a billboard saying a sign and then you still like no nah, i need another one god that's me i'm like uh 
wait a second, that was too quick. You answered that a little too quick. Let me make sure it's really coming from you, you know? But it is, like, just listen to yourself. Listen to the voice in your head, listen to yourself, and trust yourself. Trust yourself, trust the process. Everything always works out the way that's supposed to work out. You just have to stay optimistic. You just have to have faith. You cannot have faith, say, oh, I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a have faith, 100% faith, but then you're still worried and you're still trying to figure things out on your own. No, if you wanna have faith, you're gonna go with the flow and you're gonna grow with it and you're gonna keep going and everything is gonna bloom beautifully. I'm so excited about this journey that I'm on. My son, of course, y'all know, moved back to live with his dad. Um, so he has not been to LA yet. But he'll be coming to visit me soon once I get this place together. But you know, he's ready to come visit now. He is out of school. He is in camp um, in Louisville. And yeah, I'm just so grateful to have such a good support system because his dad supports me like no other. That's my dog, one of my best friends. Um, my family support me. My friends, my cousins. Like it's just I'm just blessed. I am, I really am, and I'm so grateful to have people that I have in my life because Brandy didn't have to let me stay with her while I figured this out. I told her I would be there for like two weeks. I ended up being there for like three and a half. I think it was like a month. I think I was staying with her for four weeks. Like, yeah, it all, like three and a half weeks. I was staying with her for three and a half weeks. And I do not like, like me and roommates and stuff. I've never, I had a roommate in college. I just don't, living with people is just not my thing. Brandy is so pleasant. Like if you know Brandy, you know Brandy is unreal. She's just like an angel. Like she's so, man, she's just sweet. Just a sweet, I can't even put it into words. Like I just can't even put it into words. She's just all that, Brandy's all that. Brandy is all that and I'm so grateful for her. And yeah, but my mission this year is a little different i'm getting back in my makeup bag i'm just getting back doing stuff that i like to do the way that i like to do it without all the riffraff you know like certain stuff it's just not necessary for me so i'm gonna keep it that way i'm not following no trends i'm not following no business gurus no i'm not doing none of that i'm doing what i want to do how i want to do it and i'm listening to the voices the voice in my head, I'm following my intuition, I'm having faith, and I'm out here. That's just what it is. And that's what we're gonna do. Let me put these brushes up, cause I done talked a little too much. <laughs> but I went grocery shopping online. Thank God for grocery shopping online. So I got bread, some whole wheat. Um, Y'all, I ordered hangers and stuff from Amazon because look at this clothes on the floor I did do something cute over in here though at least I tried to you know my shoes I did that and I tried to put my bags up there and little bag zipper that I did take I gave a lot of stuff away though y'all and then this stuff right here is just thrown away that's currently my dirty clothes hamper which I need to give one um, but I am going to film a beauty video today, so that's why I have this camera there, because I'm going to film a beauty video. Y'all, this place ain't even got no AC. Ain't even got no AC, but I've been adjusting. I've been I've been in here adjusting. I've been adjusting. I've been getting to it. I'm like, mm. you know what? <sighs> the mission is a little different, and I'm, I'm accepting it. The mission is different, and I'm accepting it. Got some bread, nature's own. I need to get these flowers. Somebody gave me those flowers the other day. But got some bread. We got water, of course we got water. We got, hold on y'all, we got, some foil because I don't have, I need a little more foil. We got some jelly. Cause I didn't have, I don't even have like snack food. Peanut butter. 
blueberries, bananas. We have bananas. Ooh! I needed some trail mix. We got some trail mix. We got plums. Oh gosh, two plums. I forgot. I really honestly forgot what I got. What I ordered. And then two limes because I love lime water. Okay. I'm happy. I'm happy with that. So yeah. So much cabinet space in this freaking kitchen too though. Like look at this. All these cabinets in here. This is too cute to me y'all. Like it just has character. It has character. Lots and lots of character. I'm super excited to get stuff in here too. Like the little built-in stuff here. I'm gonna put something there. I'm trying to figure out if I wanna redo these floors or if I wanna keep it like this. So much light in here too. So much light. So look at this. Another little act. X. It has a brick wall. Well, sorry y'all, but it has brick wall. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Little brick wall accent. Y'all, I'm gonna freak this place out. Oh, I'm so ready for y'all to see. It's, about to, it's gonna be super cute. So I'm about to make me a peanut butter jelly sandwich. Get myself together, film this beauty video. That y'all gonna see because I'm filming it for YouTube. I'm filming a beauty video for YouTube. <laughs> y'all, if you've been here, if you an OG, OG, like back in my Mac days, you know that beauty is my passion. Beauty's my passion. Back when NYX was flying me out to LA and I was doing all the beauty events, going to IMAX and all of that, y'all know how I feel about beauty. And like I said, going to that YouTube beauty event really just put me in a different mindset. Again, like LA, since I've been here, it's just been non-stop like okay you learning this this is happening now i mean my life like what i once thought the vision that i had for my life is just changed it's just changed it's changed like i just feel so motivated so inspired and so at peace you know like there were some things trying to come and you know knock your girl out but I have a very strong support system. I have a very strong faith system. Like I know that when things kind of get a little rocky, it's testing you out. Either you still gonna believe and keep that or you gonna dwell in the things that are not working out, that you think are not working out because it's always working out you just don't think it's working out but you have to know that it's working out because once you start believing like oh my god this is working out this is this is working out for my higher good this is happening because it's going to it's just a part of the journey you know the journey's not going to be just straight smooth it's just not going to be just smooth sailing it can be easy but the mental work is the work that you need to do that's the hardest part is doing the mental work when you do the mental work everything else comes i'm telling you but you have to do the mental work and you have to just know, I don't know how else to explain it. You have to know that anything you want to do, anything you want, you can have, you can do. You just have to know your reasoning for it. Like I started questioning myself, like, why do I want the things that I want? What's my reasoning behind it? And I realized that a lot of things that I wanted, well, that I thought I wanted, is because the lack of things that I didn't have growing up like oh I didn't have this so now I have to have it growing up and it's like I no that ain't how it should work you know the things that I'm doing now since when I was a child I didn't have that and now as an adult I'm working towards getting those things what about my grandkids or my son and his kids and well those are my grandkids but y'all know what I'm saying <laughs> but what about like my kids my grandkids 
what is what I'm doing currently right now going to do for them? You know, it's just like when they say breaking the generational curses, that's what they also mean. Mentally, uh, financially, spiritually, physically, all of it. Like the whole nine. It's not just one specific part. It's, the, it's all of it. Like what I'm currently doing right now, I want to build for the next generations to come. I want my grandchildren's grandchildren, grand, great, great, great grandchildren. My great, great grandchildren already rich. That's what I want. I want my grandchildren to be like, whoa, Granny left us all of this. Yeah, Granny did. Granny left y'all all this land, all these businesses. Granny left y'all all this stuff. So if y'all don't want to have to get out there and work and y'all want to just be creative and, and really follow your passions and your dreams, you can. You know, I want to make it easy for the next generations to come, for my generations that I'm creating. I want it to be easy for them. I want it to be easy because it shouldn't have to be hard. We shouldn't have to pay all this money to live in these apartments or live in these homes and gas prices and eh, I'm not even gonna get into it because I can't get into it but it's just the bigger picture of things and that is something that me and the man that I've met we've been now when I say it's the man that I met ain't nobody that I'm dating or nothing like that which he might be a possible not look <laughs> but that's what we well, that's what we've been talking about. Like, what are we creating for? Well, he he already is creating. He has land. He's built. He has homes that he's built that are his homes, like on his land. I'm just amazed. I'm I'm just I was so amazed at seeing all of it and just listening to him, you know. And what I love about it is that. You think you know so much until you meet somebody else who knows more. You can never learn too much. You can never know too much. You don't know it all. So sometimes it's okay to be a student and just listen. And that's what I've been doing. I've just been listening to him and allowing him to just pour into me and feed me. Because, hey. But, yeah, we that's what we've been talking about. Ooh, baby, this hair is all up over me. But that's what we've been talking about, and it just, it's true. And it really had me thinking, like, you know, why? What is what is this doing for my, the generations to come? And that's what I want to focus on. So I'm not going to be out here. I'm still living my life how I want to live my life. But that is not me busting my ass to pay rent $5,000 and still have to live around here you know what i mean still maneuver and be able to live and travel and do all this can i do it yeah if i want to do it i can do it do i want to do it no i'm not doing it so i'm going to invest my money elsewhere so that the building starts like now i'm in build mode i'm in build mode i'm in go mode i'm in just aerial mode like I'm doing me I think when you turn when you get a certain age you just don't give you just don't care you don't care what and it's not that you don't care it's just that you just don't the the validation from other people you know it's nice to be like oh wow you're this you're this you're this but on the other hand, it's not needed. And I think when you get to a certain age and you realize that validation is not needed, then you just move different. You move different. And then when you realize that you might be in a position today and the things that you've done, the work that you've done years back could change the position that you're in today into a totally different position tomorrow. You never know. You could be here today, there tomorrow. You could be there tomorrow, here today. You just, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't know. I just, it just makes you think, makes you think. But let me film this video and get this stuff going. Cause I'll sit here and talk all day. Clearly y'all know I will. I'm about to make my PB and J though. <laughs> Good girl, don't sleep when you know you got a good girl.